Hi there. In this video, we're going to use Kramer's rule to solve a systems of linear equation for three variables. To find x, y, and z, we're going to need to find the determinant d, and d of x, d of y, and d of z. We're going to start with the determinant d first. This is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. What goes into the first column is going to be the x coefficient. So we'll have x coefficient. Our second column is going to be the y coefficient. And the last column is going to be the z coefficient. So x coefficient is going to be 2, 3, and negative 1. 2, 3, and negative 1. Our y coefficient is 3, negative 1, and 2. And our z coefficient is negative 1, 2, and 5. To find a determinant, we're going to take the first number. I'm going to draw a line to everything in the same row and the same column. And what we're left with is this 2 by 2 matrix. So we're going to take 2. And then we're going to write in this 2 by 2 matrix, negative 1, 2, 2, and 5. For our second term, I'm going to rewrite this matrix. Our second term is going to be, we're going to subtract the second number in the first row. And now we're going to draw a line across the same row and the same column. And what we're left with is a 2 by 2 matrix. So we have three, three, one, two, five. So we have minus three, and then we need the three, negative one, and two and five are two by two matrix. Our last term, once again, I'm going to rewrite this. Our third term is going to be our third number, and we're going to cross out what's in the row, what's in the column. So we get minus one. Our last term is we're going to add this term, negative 1, and that's going to be multiplied by what's left over, our 2 by 2 matrix, 3, negative 1, negative 1, and 2. We're crossing out what's in the same row and what's in the same column. To get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, we take the first number and multiply diagonally, and then we subtract the second number and multiply diagonally. So you get negative 1 times 5 minus 2 times 2. Same with 3, right here, negative 3. We're going to take 3 times 5 minus 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1. And then we're going to subtract, because this is negative 1, we're going to subtract 3 times 2 minus negative 1 times negative 1. And watch out for all these. Okay. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to simplify this. We get negative 5 minus 4 here, 15, minus, 15 plus 2, and then 6 minus 1. Three negatives is going to give us negative 1. Simplifying further, we get 2 times negative 9, 3 times, this is 17, minus 5. Adding this up, we get negative 74. Our determinant D is equal to negative 74. So I'm going to write this over here. D is equal to negative 74. Now let's solve for D of x. For D of x, in the first column where the x coefficient used to live, we're going to replace that with our constants, 12 negative 2, and 0. And the y coefficient is going to be in the second column, and the z coefficient will be in the third column, same as when we were um, solving for the determinant. I've made two copies of the same matrix. So our first term, we're going to take, remember, the first number and draw the lines across, same row, same column. So we get 12. And what's left of our 
our two by two matrix, negative one, two, two, five. Our second term, our second number, Our third term is going to be the third number. And once again, cross out everything that's in the same row and the same column. And we're left with a two by two matrix, negative two, zero, negative one, two. As a reminder, to solve a two by two matrix, we're gonna take the diagonal, negative one times five, minus two times two. I've written out all the terms, we have 12, negative one times five, minus two times two. And then we have three, negative two times five, minus two times zero. And then minus negative two times two, minus negative one times zero. I'm gonna simplify all of this. Simplifying all of this, we get negative five minus four times 12, minus three times 10, this, this will be zero. We get 12 times negative 9 plus 30 plus 4, and we get negative 74. So our d of x is negative 74. One of the hardest things about doing these is that you really have to keep organized. That's why I'm putting all the, the variables over here to the side. Now we're gonna find d of y. It is the same process. Our matrix, the only difference is that for the second column, instead of the y coefficient, we're going to replace that with a constant. So it's gonna be 12, negative two, and zero. And the first column is gonna be the x coefficient, last column is gonna be the z coefficient. And I made two copies. Now let's solve this. So we get, remember we're taking the first number, crossing out what's in the row and the column, and then we're left with our two by two matrix. So we get two. Our second term is going to be our second number in the first row. And then we're gonna cross out what's in the same row and same column, and we're left once again with a two by two matrix. So we're taking this number 12, we're gonna subtract 12 and then we're gonna multiply that by the two by two matrix. Three, negative one, two, five. Three, negative one, two, five. Our last term is our third number on the first row. And we're going to cross out everything that's in the same row and the same column. And we're left with a two by two matrix. So we're adding this number, negative one. Now remember, we're gonna multiply diagonally and then subtract the second diagonal. I'm gonna write this for all the terms. Now this is just a lot of arithmetic. Negative 10 minus zero, we get negative 10. 15 plus two, we get zero. Three negatives is gonna give us a negative two. So we get negative 20 minus 12 times 17. And then we're gonna to add two here. And we add everything up, we get negative 222. And that is our determinant d of y. As so we're gonna write this over here, our last variable that we're gonna find is d of z. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster because you know how the process works. The matrix for d of z, we're replacing the column that was the z coefficient with the constant. So we got 12, negative two, zero. And the first two columns are going to be the x coefficient and the y coefficient. And remember, we're going to take our first number for the first term, our second one, we're gonna take our second number and our third term, we're gonna take our third number. And what's left over in these, it comes our two by two matrix. And so we have equal to two. And so we have the first number two times our two by two matrix that's left over. Second number minus three and what's left of, and our two by two matrix. And our third term is gonna be, we're adding 12 
and this two by two matrix. And I'm going to solve this matrix. We take two times the diagonal of this, negative one times zero minus negative two times two, negative three times diagonal, three times zero minus negative two times negative one. And over here, 12 times three times two minus negative one times negative one. And be careful with all these signs. It's <laughs> I really recommend that you write everything out because even though you can do it in your head, it's, it's so easy to make a mistake. So here we have simplify. This will be zero, so we get negative times negative is a positive four. This is zero. Negative times negative times negative, we get negative two. We have six minus one. And then we get two times four. Negative three times negative two gives us six. And then 12 times five. So adding all this up, we get d of z is equal to 74. All right, and we are done with all this calculating. Our last step is going to be plugging our numbers into these formulas. So let's do that. We get x is equal to d of x is negative 74 divided by d, d is negative 74. And this gives us, obviously, 1. y is equal to d of y over d. So d of y is negative 222 divided by negative 74. It's going to give us 3. And z is equal to d of z, which we get 74 divided by d, which is negative 74. That gives us negative 1. And finally, this is our solution. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to negative 1. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, or if you learned something new, add a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.